Hey guys, so our today's topic is best fit line, basically regression. And again, this is a common topic for all the university examination and IP curriculum. So it is important to use calculator because calculator is allowed. So we have given some uh, data points there and we would like to find out best fit lines for the points. So let us get going. We'll uh, use this calculator. Let's push, let's go to statistics. Okay, and I already have some data points there. Let me get rid of this. I'll just delete these data points. So what we are going to do, we'll put in X values in list one and Y values in list two. So negative four, negative two, negative four. Okay, we will put in the first one is first, negative three, negative two, negative one point five. Zero zero point five two two point five three four two two point five three and four. All right, so let's take two two point five three and four. All right, let's go to five values for in negative two, negative one, negative two, negative one, negative one point five zero. Negative 1.5, 0, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 2.52, 3 and 3. All right, so we have these values now, and we would like to plot the back best fit. So we'll go to regression, F3. And let's try one by one. Let's see the straight line AX plus B. Okay, so our R value is 0 0.94. You can see, so that's pretty close. But anyway, let us try with some other equation as well. Let's try with the median, or uh, rather, let's try with the quadratic. Our R value, R square value is 0 0.944. Okay, let's try with cubic. R value, R square value is 0 0.9490, so it's a little better. And let's try with by quadratic as well. And the value has come a bit closely. So the best fit equation would be the by quadratic only, where you have coefficient of A, B, C, D, E, and R square. And you can copy and you can paste the values as well. So when you go back to the graph, you can plot those values as well. Okay, let us select the equation and let's plot it. Okay, or what we can do, we can just go back to statistics once and we can plot a scatter plot for this as well. Okay, so press F1, go to set, and the scatter plot is already selected. I'll say F1. Okay. Right, so this gives you some idea about the flow of graph as well. So you have one point of interest, another point of interest, another point of interest. There are multiple, so bi would be a good one. And uh, you know, so we can try here as well. So if we try median, you know, and let's if we try it, okay, it's not going through, it's not helping much. So we'll try with x square now at 4 right let's try it right it is just above that not further help let's try with x cube we will try x cube all right so let's try x cube it's right mm -hmm. and the one at the end that we plotted that is by quadratic where the r square is 0 0.95 pretty close right and you find that you, you, it is touching and it's uh, going through, you know, all the important points. So, uh, our, uh, you know, the equation is this one and you can know the coefficients while you do with by quadratic regression. These are the, your intercepts. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel for our future videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day.